my children we have been learning about paul how he was so full of zeal for the lord he traveled far and wide to preach the gospel of salvation fearlessly and boldly today we learn about paul's last journey to rome and how much hardships difficulties and sufferings he had to undergo all for the love of jesus children you can see on your screens the basilicas of saint peter and saint paul the basilica of saint peter which is in the vatican city houses the tomb of saint peter and the basilica of saint paul which is built on the outskirts of rome houses the tomb of saint paul these basilicas are very beautiful and grand you can view the grandeur the beauty and the majesty of these basilicas on youtube tv or other digital platforms thousands of pilgrims visit the vatican city every year to pray at the tombs of these two great saints for the gifts of faith and courage would you to like to pray to them we shall now come to the main lesson of paul's last journey to rome the jews wanted to kill paul for preaching that jesus is alive and is risen from the dead so they arrested paul and kept him in prison that night the lord stood by paul and said don't be afraid you have given your witness for me here in jerusalem and you must do the same in rome paul argued before the jewish authorities that he had done nothing wrong which deserved death he said that he was a roman citizen by birth and he wished to stand trial before caesar in rome in this way he would be able to fulfill what jesus had willed for him that is to testify in rome as paul had expressed his desire to stand trial before caesar in rome the jews handed over paul and some other prisoners to julius a roman guard and they boarded a ship and set sail next day they arrived at sidon the roman centurion julius was very kind to paul and he allowed him to go ashore and visit many of his friends to be given what he needed after that paul and others set sailing once again but this time they faced storms at sea and there were strong winds which drove the ship on the stormy waves and the ship had to change routes frequently and the journey became dangerous and more difficult paul and the prisoners had not eaten food for two weeks on the 14th day paul begged all of them to eat something and he told them that an angel of god had appeared to him and had told him don't, don't be, be afraid, afraid paul 
you must stand, stand before, before the emperor, emperor. And, and god, god in, his in his goodness to you has spread, spread the lives of, of all those who are sailing with you he then took some bread gave thanks to god before them all broke it and began to eat everyone ate and felt better there were 276 people on board that ship as the storm continued and as the wind blew the journey had become very dangerous so they had to throw all the cargo aboard overboard to lighten the ship and to save themselves after much difficulty and hardship the ship broke and they were shipwrecked on an island later on they learned that the name of the island was called malta at malta it was raining and cold however the people of malta were very kind to them and built a bonfire to welcome and keep them warm paul gathered up a bundle of sticks and was putting them on the fire when a viper that is a poisonous snake came out on account of the heat and fastened itself to paul's hand paul shook off the snake of his hand the people now thought that paul would fall down dead but after waiting for a long time when they saw that nothing unusual was happening to him they said he is god do you remember children when paul had a similar experience of being called god it was when he had healed a lame man in lystra at that time also the people had declared paul and barnabas as gods at malta the chief official of the island welcomed them as his guest now the father of the chief man of the island was in bed suffering from high fever paul went into his room prayed placed his hands on him and healed him when the people saw this healing all other sick people on the island came and were healed the people were so grateful to paul and his group that they loaded him with gifts they put on board the ship whatever they needed for their voyage after 3 months when the weather had improved paul and his group boarded another ship to reach the coast of italy from there they traveled by land to rome in rome paul was allowed to choose his rented house and he was constantly guarded by a roman guard this is called house arrest however paul was allowed to meet people in his house and he was free to meet whomever he wished so first he called the leaders of the jewish community of rome and spoke to them about the kingdom of god he convinced them that he was a jew like them and yet he was made a prisoner in jerusalem and handed over to the romans because he preached the good news of jesus christ he told them that he was brought to rome because he had asked to be tried 
by Emperor Caesar. And he ended up saying, I am bound in chains for the sake of Jesus Christ, the Lord. He is the hope of the people of Israel. He talked to the Jews about the kingdom of God and about Jesus from the law of Moses and the writings of the prophets. Some of the Jews listened and became believers. Some disbelieved and left Paul. So Paul had to tell the Jews once again that since they rejected Jesus the Messiah, the good news will now be offered to the Gentiles. Gentiles are non-Jews. Paul spent two years in his house preaching the gospel to all who visited him. He was preaching openly, freely and boldly. You can now see how Saul, the persecutor, transformed into Paul, the preacher. The gospel of Jesus Christ had reached the Gentiles even in Rome. Paul is called the apostle of the Gentiles. Around 54 AD, Emperor Nero came to power. He was a very cruel emperor and persecuted the Christians and put blame on the Christians for the fire which burned much of Rome. Around 67 AD, many Christians, including Peter and Paul, died as martyrs for their faith. Peter was crucified on the cross but upside down because Peter told his executioners that he did not find himself worthy of being crucified like his master, Jesus. Paul also was beheaded but outside Rome because at that time there was a custom that a Roman citizen could only die by sword. Today in Vatican City we have two big basilicas, St. Peter's Basilica with his tomb and St. Paul's Basilica with his tomb. Children, now sit quietly and join your hands. Breathe in deeply and breathe out gently. Calm yourself down while we get ready to hear the word of God. We will be playing background music while you gaze at the pictures of Saint Peter and Paul on the screen. Saint Peter has keys in his hands. Saint Paul has scripture in his hands. Look at these two great apostles while we read the word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles Chapter 28 verses 30 and 31 For two years Paul lived in a place he rented for himself and there he welcomed all who came to see him. He preached about the kingdom of God and taught about the Lord Jesus Christ speaking with all boldness and freedom. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do you know what the symbols of keys in Peter's hand signify? It signifies the key to the kingdom of God. The key was given by Jesus 
to Peter. Peter is the leader of the apostles. Jesus named Peter as our first Pope. Paul is shown with scriptures in his hand because he preached the good news to non-Jews also. Paul is the apostle of the Gentiles and after Paul and Peter so many missionaries have traveled down the centuries to the entire universe to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ to everyone. Even now we have Pope Francis, cardinals, so many priests, religious and others telling us about the good news of Jesus. We are all called to bring Jesus to others. Peter and Paul are the foundation stones of the first Christian communities. Let us now thank and praise God for Peter and Paul by singing the psalm Glorify the Lord with me. Glorify the Lord, glorify the Lord, glorify the Lord with me. communities all over the world. For your assignment children, you can express your heartfelt gratitude to God for any three things and send me a voice recording of the same or you have an option to send a voice recording of you singing the psalm Glorify the Lord with me. We will now conclude by singing this song. To brave Faith of 
Father's holy faith, we will be true to Thee till the faith of our Father's holy faith, we will be true to Goodbye for now. May God bless you all. Bye.